Time now for the recurve mixed teams gold medal match. And out come the Italians and the Chinese to compete for this one. Second time we've seen Elisabetta Mignol today. And second time we've seen Wu Chunyan and Zhao Lishu. For China. Three of those archers featuring in the doubles earlier today. On card number one representing Italy, Elisabetta Mino. Those two have combined in previous competitions, Elisabetta Mino and Stefano Ravasani. Paralympics together. They won silver in 2021. Wu Chunyan back out there after winning gold in the women's doubles. And Xiao Li Shu after winning silver in the men's doubles. Therefore, their second medal match today. Wu, of course, remember going for three golds today. She can win this one. And she'll try and complete the hat trick. And the women's individual coming up a little later in the session. That would be some achievement for her. The Italians full of fight. That won't be easy. Travis, Travis Sani, fourth in the ranking round. World number two at the moment. Three medals at the World Championships prior to this event. But all eyes on Wu here. Can she go double gold for China? It's going to be Travasani to start for Italy. Great start for him. Elisabetta Mino. Wu now with her first arrow. Wasn't at her best, I thought, when we saw her in the women's doubles, but tight one there, and of course, taken to a shoot off against uh, the Italians in that match. Nothing really in it. And Zhao. Wow. So, mixed start for all four archers. Some good stuff there from Travis Sunny and Wu. Not so good from the other two. Even this one right up. Hey. Oh, that's unusual from Mino. Two sixes in the set. So Italy blocking 13. So this is a Big opportunity here for China to claim first blood in this gold medal match. And Wu very close to a 10 there. Not quite, but still a solid nine, which means Zhao has the chance now with a seven or higher to win the first set for China. And it's an eight. So that will get it done nicely. China, so not the highest scoring set by either team, you'd have to say, but at the end of the day, it's good enough for the Chinese uh, to get the first two set points in this contest. Italy got through to the final after beating Mexico in their 1 8 elimination, 6 2. Taking out Slovenia in the quarterfinals 5 4, 17 12 in a shoot off. And then they thumped Japan 6 0 in the semi. China, meantime, beat Korea 6 2 in their 1 8 elimination. Thailand 6 0 
in the uh, quarterfinal and then Iran 6 0 in the semi. So they've certainly been in dominant form, the two Chinese archers, and uh, they've certainly got the more impressive of the two teams' record here. But none of that really counts for anything right now. It's all about the performance that we're currently witnessing. Now, Travisani started off in style on the last set with a 10. Let's see if he can do the same. He's uh, China leading 2-0 early in this match. He's done it again. Fantastic start. Now, Mino with two sixes in the first set. So she can certainly improve. Still battling a touch. Both these Chinese archers finished second in the, in the ranking round. They're right up there. And there is Wu, who seems like her form is right on. She's gone 9-9-10 nine, nine, so far. Well, has that grabbed the line? Tough uh, to see if it did, but I think he's just missed Jiao. Travis Sani's done exactly the same as he has in the first set. He's gone 10 and then 8. A big arrow here for Mino. She's gone 6-6-7 six, six, so far. She needs a decent score and she's slowly improving. But will 33 be enough for the Italians in the second set? 15 required from the Chinese archers. For the second set to put them on match point. Seven required or higher here from Zhao Li Shu. And he's got the seven. So for the second consecutive set, hasn't been a convincing arrow, but it's been good enough. And that's all that really counts. So China now move forward nicely. They win that set 34-33. A couple of tight scores in there, though. The scores have been confirmed, so it's 34-33. China really in control of this gold medal match now, but it's not impossible with two sets to come. The Italians have, will have chances. So they do have to at least tie. Well, no, they, in fact, of course, they have to win this third set to stay alive in the contest. A tie's not going to be enough. Doesn't take much to slip behind in these teams' events. Stefano Travisani to begin the third set. Hey. He's hit it again. Tens in the match now for Travis Sunny. There we are. There is Mino's best arrow of the match. He's gone six, six, seven, eight, nine. So she'll be hoping for a ten. And her next arrow. Nine. Oh. 
Nine. Two line lookers for the Chinese. And both nines. And they're right there. As Italy look to win the set, they need to win the set. Great arrow again from Stefano Traversani. Back to back tens. He's certainly feeling it nicely. It's four tens from his six arrows. Fantastic percentage. Eight. Still searching for her best form, but that set score right there of 37 is comfortably the best for Italy and they must be fancying their chances China need to go 19 from these last two arrows and that is a gem right there from Wu it is certainly on now for Zhao Lishu a nine to win the gold medal And it is clutch archery there from the two Chinese competitors. Fantastic performance in the mixed teams from them. And that was excellent work from them. Great scoreboard pressure created by the Italians. But the Chinese responded magnificently. Well, that was a well-earned win. And they are going to win this match. Nine. by sharing Nine. the final Nine. set 37 apiece but that will be enough to win it by five set points to one and it is double gold now for Wu and it is gold for Chow after losing the men's doubles earlier to Turkey so the, the treble is still on for Wu Chunyan she now needs just a beat will win her individual gold medal match and she will win three golds on the day which will be a remarkable achievement well done to the Chinese to win it by five set points to one hard luck for the Italians we have to settle for silver earlier of course it was Japan in that shoot off winning the bronze medal we'll have the an interview with the winners in just a moment and then enjoy the victory ceremony